So now it's inner cam bearing removal and reinstallation time. Got our tool here. Put some oil onto the threads to lubricate the threads up. There is a, you see this little cone piece with a little taper on it? That's the piece that's going to go into the bearing. So you slide it through here. Then you line it up with the, the cam bearing in there. Then you have the thumb screws that go in here and tighten up. So when you center this up, you'll feel it snap into the bearing. The instructions request a dead blow hammer. It says light taps. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap it and those little fingers are gonna go down, should go through the bearing, and they'll spring out on the other side. It went through just like it should. Whew. Now you can take the washer and thread the nut on here. I have the nut thread up there, have the washer behind it. So I'm gonna hold the giant adjustable wrench here. And I'm gonna take a ratcheting wrench and crank this back here. Now that your nut and washer's up on there, you want to insert your dowel pin back in there. That'll make the fingers flare out. Just give it a little tap. While you're holding the puller out, tighten that nut up there. You can hold this wrench and turn this nut in here. It should basically jack the bearing puller right on out of there, taking the cam bearing with it. Now, you undo your thumb screws. Pull the whole thing out of there. Cam bearing all right there. Gonna put a little uh, engine oil onto the threads of this thing. And we're gonna thread it right on through. Now that we have it started through there, make sure everything's clean. You have this little adapter piece with the threads on it. Thread that down on there. Then you have this bushing that the bearing's going to sit onto, held in place by an O-ring. Wipe that off. Make sure that is as clean as you can possibly get it. Even if it's brand new, clean it. From there, we're gonna take our new needle bearing out of the package. Now this will slide right down on there. Before we go to install it, we're gonna to wanna to put some assembly lube down inside there. So we're gonna use a decent amount of this. SNS gave us a container here. Probably don't even need that much, but we're gonna use it anyways. Take that, slide that down on there. Line up your installer and put your thumb screws in there. Make sure all those are down tight. That way your engine bearing installer is square to the engine and square to the case. From there, here's what we're going to do. I'm gonna take my light, stick my giant head in here and make sure all this lines up when it gets back there. The other mounting hole will work like a little peephole. Now that I can see there that it's all started in and I have that uh, step bushing on there, I'm gonna crank this in. I'm not gonna use a lot of force. If it starts binding, starts doing weird, anything like that, stop. But I'm gonna slide it on in there. And then when that shoulder gets to the face of the case, that means the bearing is pressed all the way in. So you don't wanna go past that. There should be a slight increase in pressure on the wrench at that point, And you wanna stop there. Remember, I have a decent amount of leverage here. So light touch, take a peek. Everything is going in all nice and even as it should. Go some more. Right there, just stopped. So, spin a ratcheting wrench around. Crank it back on out of there. Now give it a look in there and make sure your cam bearing is sitting back into the engine case. You don't wanna have it stepped out or anything or when you put the cam in there, it could bind up on it. 
So make sure it's set back in there a little bit and you're good to move 